So we've all heard of therapists using art or pets as a way to rehabilitate patients, but what about laughter? Box 5's Ben Aaron is at Sharp Grossmont Hospital with a group of clowns that save lives by getting a little silly. Good morning, Ben. Yes, silly is our business, Sholly. That's what we do here. That's what we're good at, and we keep it real. Hanging out with Dr. Poconos, Thunder, and Wower. These wow. guys these guys are terrific. They, they are clowns, but they work here at the Sharp Grossmont Hospital. They volunteer here, actually, at the Sharp Grossmont Hospital, helping kids rehabilitate them and the power of laughter. How did you guys get into this? Well, I got into it because of him. How did you get into this? <laughs> when I was going to retire, I was looking for things to do, and I experimented with various things. The hospital had a clown program, 1994 it started, and I went into it not realizing I had to go with the patients, but that's how it started, and I enjoyed it ever since. I like Dr. Poconuts because we have the same size nose. <laughs> his, light, his apparently lights up, though. Can you light it up for us? Yeah. Light it up, baby. That's the sign of good news. And you, and you got into it as well, How? Well, I've been clowning for a long time, and I didn't think I was able to do the clowning thing at the hospital because I thought I would, you know, like I wouldn't do the right thing. But he just took me by the hand and brought me through this place, and some of the kinds of special things that happen when you do this is so cool. It's wonderful. Wonderful. She's Sorry. very excited. Very it's okay. Excited. <laughs> clowns can get excited. We're all good here. This is great. And it is, and you guys, you guys help patients. You go around the patients. You make them laugh. You do tricks for them, right? Right, we do. A lot of it could be listening to the patient because sometimes patients don't get anybody to talk to in the hospital. So we may listen. We may be jokes. We may put thunder on their chest. Thunder's very cute, but he, he's a little ripe. He needs a Tic Tac, so we're going to help him out this morning. I got a couple of kisses from Thunder, and I was like, whoa, Thunder, you're tiny, but very powerful. It's insane. So all morning long, we're going to go through the process. You guys are going to turn me into a real clown, right? Right, that's right. And, you know, he, he licked your nose. He did lick he the nose. It right. It's Oh, yes, thank you. Anybody have a certs, please? <laughs> it's going to be amazing all morning long hanging out with these guys, the volunteer clowns, making people laugh, healing by helping people have a better time and, and laugh a little bit and uh, some makeup and tricks. I'm going to find out what kind of clown I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> a laughing one. Back in the studio, guys. Their laughter is making me laugh, Ben. That's hey. good. And Sholly, Sholly actually, Sholly's in the studio right now. Sholly has one of the biggest, greatest smiles, so she would be the perfect clown. Sholly would be the greatest clown. You're sweet. Hey, by the way, Ben, we, I, I did a story on this uh, not too long ago. We were in the hospital, and the doctors say it really, really, really makes the kids feel a lot better. I mean, it really does. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And they're saying that the kids feel a lot better when they laugh because, they, you know, they take their mind off whatever pain they're going yeah. through and they, they just kind of smile a little bit, have fun. And these guys are total jokesters. So we'll <laughs> Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much, Ben. Okay, moving on now. Sharp Grossmont Hospital's clown therapy program was established in 1994 to heal patients with laughter. And this morning, Fox Five's Ben Aaron is in La Mesa now with some pretty funny characters. Hey, Ben. I love to party, for the record, guys. I'm a huge party freak. It's awesome. My, I think my school was like 4,709 in the party. It's good, but we were all like TV radio nerds. Yes, we are hanging out, though. Clown therapy is what we're talking about today. Here's Dr. Poconos. He's a wonderful guy. Dr. Poconos, what's up? Would you hold? Oh. Take thunder. Doctor, okay. Doctor, I have a problem. What's the problem, miss? Every time I touch myself right here, it really hurts. Well, let me examine that with my neurological hammer. Just a minute here. When do you need? <laughs> oh, did you need to do that? <laughs> you know, and, and then every time I touch myself right here, it really hurts, too. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Goodness, yeah. There's nothing and wrong with the elbow. Anything lastly, else, every man? Every time I touch myself right there, it really hurts. Let me get this, please. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now. I, oh, I see what the problem We don't need any lab tests. It's all solved. You have a broken finger. Oh! <laughs> My sides. <laughs> My goodness. And that's the kind of stuff they do here at Sharp Grossman Hospital. It's amazing. These guys are clown therapists. They go around to kids and people, and they help them make a little laughter in their life because they're not doing too well. So, so you, guys, you guys give a little smile, right? Oh, yeah. You want to hear a little quick story about the lady that was standing in the hallway like this, all tight and tense, looking really sad. And I just walked up to her. I looked at her and I put my arms out. And I don't think she had breathed for a long time. She put her head on my shoulder and she took a big breath. No words spoken. 
Wow. It was pretty cool. It's pretty powerful it's pretty stuff. Pretty cool, yeah. It's awesome. And all morning long we'll be doing this stuff. Next up, I'm going to become a true clown therapist. <laughs> I believe it's called an agoose clown, right? A goose. That's right. That the, means silly. That means silly and clumsy. Clumsy. Which is perfect. So we're going to be doing that makeup. <laughs> I'm going to learn my tricks. And we're going to go and help some people, make some people laugh this morning and uh, hang out with the clown therapist. Right. And you guys want any more information, fox5sandiego.com. There's a link. And if you guys, you, and people can get involved as well, oh, right? yeah. We have classes. And he, where we're going to be having classes at the hospital. All-Star Clown and Club. All-Star Clown Club. San Diego All-Star Clown Club has classes every year. And then at the hospital, you have to take classes here, too. Beautiful. So you know what to do and what you can't do. Like, we don't wear gloves right. when we work in here. And then we're going to play chess on your outfit. It's going to okay, be wonderful. We'll More coming up next, guys. Stick around. Back in the studio. All right, Ben. Thank you very much. Checking in with Brad. Always good. Always fascinating. Yeah. They're truly, truly uh, awesome, yes. I would say. Well, laughter is the best medicine. You've heard that uh, many times, and one local hospital has that treatment down to an exact science. Fox 5's Ben Aaron is live at Sharp Grossmont Hospital La Mesa learning how to be a clown. Good morning, Ben. I'm actually wearing almost as much makeup as you guys. This is fantastic. <laughs> yes, we are here hanging out with clown therapists, and I am officially a clown. But actually, no, I shouldn't say that because I don't have my clown name yet, and you guys were going to come up with a secret name. Yep. What is the name? Your name is Q-Tip, the hospital, Grossman Hospital's first aid. I like it. It's <laughs> catchy and short. Couldn't come up with, like, buzz or schnoz. It has to be cute dip the hospital for a state. That's fantastic. And what kind of, there's different types of clowns. What kind of clown am I? Well, you're an august clown. That's a goose. A goose. A goose, goose, <laughs> goosey. <laughs> I'm a goose, he's a goose. And what does a goose mean? A goose is a German word for clumsy. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, he's, he's the one that takes the hit, takes the pie in the face. Okay. Okay, there's a white face clown. They're classical. They, um, they don't do take pies in the face. They're the boss clown. Right. And then there's the tramp or hobo clown. So there's three categories of clowns. Are you interpreting through sign language right now? That was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's, there's more just like the, the, the makeup and the clothes. you got to act the part. Now, we're going to talk about, yes, and these, the sad part is these shoes actually fit me. <laughs> that, that's the, I don't have to double up on the socks or anything. They actually fit. So let's talk about the laugh. The laugh is very important. Okay, now, everybody out in, uh, everybody out in the audience, you can do this with us, okay? First, right. you have to use the word ha. 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 Ha ha! Ha ha! I think I pulled something. It's, it's from the diaphragm. Ha ha! Now, now, there's, there's more, there's more. There's, there's also um, uh, the, the idea, right? Okay, now ideas. Now, are you ready? For an idea, a small idea is pointing with your finger. Small idea. A medium idea is a little bit more body, and you go. Boom. And then there's a big idea, and then you use both hands, and it's a big! Big idea. I got a big idea. I'm a clown. That's what it's all about. And and there's more. There's also what is what else is there? Okay, we're gonna have uh, the, the, the 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 I forgot. The trip. <laughs> Let's do the trip. Okay, the trip. The trip is very important because we are a goose, so we're clumsy people. So this is Wower doing her famous trip. What? Go for it, Wower. Wower and the trip and the big shoes help and she looks back and she has to double take it of course. Now you go here we go Dr. Pocono does his trip and he does an amazing trip and now it's you can, this is you're exciting for you at home this is my first trip this is great okay trip ready. Yes, thank you. I tripped again. I keep tripping. Okay, I can't well, walk you into know you. We need to have the. We ha you need to have you do a take and a double take to the camera. So okay. I'll do it to you and okay. then you do it to them. Sounds so it's, good. It's like this. Oh. That's a single. That's a single. Do it to the camera. No, it's got to be faster. Faster. No, faster with your head. I do a lot of hip thrust in I my take. I noticed that. Now, yeah. double take is uh. like that. Yeah. yeah. Like, now a triple. You do it. Triple? Triple. One, two, I don't know if I can handle that. One, two, three. Okay, ready? Go. I may need to cuddle afterwards. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. But I kind of have like a little stutter that thing. Two. That was only two. I like my outfit a lot. I look like kind of the brat clown. Yeah. This is great. She is a brat. So people, people, like, <laughs> people at home, they want to volunteer. They want to get involved. How does it happen? How do you guys volunteer to be part of the clowns? We applied to the volunteer office here at Grossmont Hospital. You should go through a clown training program first. The All-Star Clown Club in town is a good place to do that. They have a clown school. We have to protect the patient's privacy. That's the important thing. There's a law called HIPAA, H-I-P-P-A, in which you'll learn to protect the patient. The hospital has a little two-hour training course. There's a lot of courses. No, not a lot. There's three or four. So. Oh, that's not bad. But, you know, yeah. It would be like if you were going to be a nurse. You, you can't just put on a nurse's costume and then you're a nurse. You right. have to have a little training, and, and you have to have a good spirit. You not, have to. Lots of 
you know, mm -mm, heart. Mm -mm, heart, lots of heart. It's fantastic. So we're, we are hanging out all morning long. We're going to hang out with some patients next and make them laugh a little bit. But there is a link to our website, fox5sandiego.com, if you want to get more involved. If you want to be a clown, learn the ways and, and make people laugh because the best therapy is make them laugh, right? right. You betcha. And you, have to, uh, and you have to know some tricks, and we're going to learn some tricks afterwards. Yes. Isn't he the cutest clown you've ever seen? Yeah, no, she's just saying that because I paid her 20 bucks beforehand to say that, and now she's saying that. So it's a beautiful thing. Money, buddy. I know, it's it's it. I'll owe you. Guys, back in the studio. All right, Ben. Thank you very much.